Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can you deploy an app within UiPath Orchestrator. Right, so everything we are going to learn how you are going to deploy it. Now for this, let's open UiPath apps and I'm going to create a new app and give it some name. Let's say I'm going to say my test. My test app. Okay, and I'm going to click on uh, create. All right, so I'm going to select uh, this template. So the app is created. Now here I'm just going to focus. Once your app is developed, how you are going to upload that to Orchestrator, right? How you are going to publish it or how you are going to deploy that app? I'm going to talk about it. So here there's an option called publish, and there is a small history here. If you click on this. What it tells you, this app has never been published, right? This app doesn't have a version yet. So what I'm going to do, once you are done with the app, once you have created the app, let's say, I'm going to hit on publish. Here it is asking, give it a description. I'm going to say for testing purpose, testing purpose, and it is telling you which tenant it's going to get deployed to. So it gives you the list of tenants. So here I have one tenant. It shows me here. I'm going to hit on publish. Okay, getting your app ready to publish, app has been published. Now the question comes, where the app is published in Orchestrator? So here you are in the Orchestrator. Now tell me, where exactly can I find that app? Okay, so you will not find that in packages. Okay, there is something called app versions. This is where you have to click and you will be able to find the app that you have just published. So my test app, you can see it here. Now the other thing, if you go back to the app, there is a button here. If you click here, it is it will tell you, hey, you have just published 1.0.0 version of the app, published to tenant Rakesh. Getting it? So this much is clear. Now once I have it published in the orchestrator, I would like to deploy it. That means like you deploy a process, right? You have seen if you go to automation by selecting the folder. You might have deployed a couple of processes. You might have run few jobs from the processes, right? Similar way for the app. How do you deploy it? It is quite simple. Simply click on deploy app. And here you will see the list of apps that are available in your tenant. So right now I have just one. So I'm going to select my test app. The display name you can keep it or if you leave it blank, it will take this name. Okay. Now it gives you the selection of the version. So here I have only one version and for testing purpose. And I am going to click on deploy. Getting it? So I'm going to click on deploy. So this gets deployed and you get a green tick mark. You get a green tick mark. Getting it? Now, what would happen if you run it from here? It is more like you are opening the app. Generally, how you have got it is available in the orchestrator. You want to run it. You know, this is how you can run it and you can see the app. Okay, this is one way. Now the question comes, what if you have to make some changes? What would happen? For example, here I did not have any name. Let's say any kind of a changes you would like to do the, to, to the app. So let me type something. Let's say automate with Rakesh. Okay. I'm typing this company name and I'm going to hit on publish. This will give you an option to write what you have exactly changed. I'm saying change the company name and it is saying 2.0 and is get, going to get published to the orchestrator. Let me hit on publish. Okay. So wait for few seconds and then you will find app got published. So once the app is published, if I go back to the orchestrator uh, and go to the tenant and go to the app versions, here it says 2.0. Now if you go to the folder, the folder would generally show you, go to the automation and apps. Here it is going to tell you, hey, there is some updated version is available. Select this and I'm going to click on use latest. Use latest. It is giving me an option to upgrade uh, to the latest. Some configuration might change. So click on upgrade and it got a green tick mark. Getting it? Okay, this is understood. Now what if for XYZ reason you would like to get back to the older version? I would like to go back to the older version. Here you can see, right? It gives you that comment, changes, uh, change the company name, testing purpose and all that messages is there. 
Now let's say I would like to get back to the 1.0. How do I do it? So for that, there's no straight option. Um, so, so if I go to the tenant, right? If I click here and it has a copy URL option. For example, if I go to the tenant and I'm going to click on app version. Now let me click on this. So it says this is active, this is inactive. Let's say I would like to make this active. Let me see if there is any option. So I don't see any direct option as uh, at the moment. Now what I will do, I would like to get that 1.0, right? Whatever was there, I want to get it back. Now to do that, simply there is an option here called, if you come back to the UiPath App Studio, there is an option here called restore to this version. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, click on restore. Your app is going to completely load again. The app version was successfully restored. Okay, you can see it. Just give it a few seconds. So the app is back. Now, if you if you click here, the version history, you can only see 1.0, 2.0. Okay, publish to tenant, pub, uh, deploy to IT. So this is still deployed. 2.0 is deployed to IT folder getting it now I want this so how to do it now the only option that I could see is I can hit on publish okay I can hit on publish and it will become 3.0 uh, reverting and I'm going to put some comment reverting back to uh, 1.0 okay and I'm going to hit on publish even though it's 3.0 but again all of this um, you know look and feel is of 1.0 so I have done it. Then I am going to hit on publish. If you see the version history, it's still the same. Okay. Uh, so it is got published to tenant Rakesh. Uh, now let me go here and uh, refresh this. So you got 3.0. I'll come here to the automations app and I would like to upgrade it to 3.0. So this is one way. Now the question comes, you know, how do I delete it? Can I delete it completely? For example, if I try, uh, you know, if you try to delete the package directly from here, for example, from the tenant option, uh, I'll go to app version and I'm going to select this. Okay. And let me select all of this and hit on. See, I don't see a delete option directly. So how do I get this delete option is from the, you know, how we went to the IT folder. From there you have to start. So I'll go to the IT folder. I'll go to the automations. I'll click on the apps and I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit on delete. Okay, so the apps were successfully deleted. Now you go to the tenant. Now go to the app version and select and I'm going to hit on delete. Now another problem that I'm not our version could not be deleted. Please contact your administrator. Okay, so it is saying if I go back, see all the other two versions got deleted, <coughs> but the 3.0 which is available on UiPath app, right? If you go to UiPath app studio, uh, what is it? Yeah, if I go back to UiPath app studio and if I click on the version now, it is saying 3.0. So this 3.0 is not getting deleted. If you see all the rest of the things were got deleted, but this one still staying there. Now, if I'm trying how many times, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, see, for example, I'm selecting this and uh, delete package, delete. Okay, could not be deleted. Please contact your administrator. That means there is a reference with the App Studio. That's why you cannot delete directly from here. So, what you have to do really, if you don't need it, then all you do go to your app, go to your app. Okay, go to the App Studio and from here you have the option to directly delete it okay so this will allow you delete so once this is deleted right before that none of the version should be active in any of the folder i have deleted from the child to the parent i have deleted now i'm coming to the parent to uipath studio and deleting this so once it is deleted now if you go back and try the same option now you can see it has got deleted all you have to do is simply refresh it it should be vanishing Getting it. So you got to know how to deploy an app, how do you create an app, publish it, and how to look at the different versions of the app. 
you know how do you manage them all of in, in, in this short video we have learned so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care and do not forget to subscribe and give it a like and do comment on the video that you're watching simply say completed thank you guys bye bye